is vital that Warsaw does not fall. We cannot, we cannot underestimate the value of Warsaw to our uh, to this entire campaign. It is the pivotal city, and that's why we've surrounded it with so many armies. We've got two army groups here defending it. Will they support their allies? Will they move in against us? Indeed, they will, sir. Ho, 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 ho. I mean, that is a monstrous... Oh, my goodness me. Square, gentlemen, square. We know the reinforcements are going to come in from here. Square, gentlemen, square, lads. Well done, lads, well done. My goodness me, we're absolutely taking a pounding here. Greetings and welcome to episode 105 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod USA campaign. And this, my friends, I would have it last time. Peace finally sort of reigns, my friends. We have not got any battles to start to finish here at the start, my friends. But that does not mean we have many, many battles still to come. Now, before we start proper, there's a number of uh, promotions and um, other offices to be uh, a scene to and the first is um, that Abish wanted to have another gentleman here so we promoted a gentleman here in New York City um, he will be the gentleman for New York so this is Bish Bish my friends hope that is okay for you if of course if you want to be transferred to another front please let me know and of course I'll make sure that happens so you are currently a resident gentleman within New York and we also have Backward Beast as well who wants to be a general in the south so um, I've slightly altered this, so we've got the south here, sort of the south Mediterranean as it were here, we're in the sort of, Medi I know it's a bot black sea here, but we're in the south here, if I actually put back, uh, backward my friends, you're also here, as you can see here, backward beast, your general backward beast, is actually going to be part of the army group that is going to storm the Don here, so it really is going to be a vital role here, we've still got an army waiting out here, and of course, as um, Ad General uh, Ernok, Adam, rightly pointed out last time, we did have another army, a fourth army on its way. Due to my um, stupidity, that was actually drawn into the fight we had here with clearing the Austrians from this 
a sort of trade line here. This this operate they were operating here between the Spanish mainland here and Algiers. There was a sort of a task force of Austrian ships here. We moved the force we've got here from Gibraltar to engage them. Unfortunately, one of the ships that had an army in it was too close to that fight. So they were drawn into the fight and we lost them. Now that is entirely my fault. So I'm not, you know, my hands up. There it is, my friends, out in the open. Let's get, let's, you know, let's not try and sugarcoat it. It was entirely my fight, a rookie mistake on my on my part, my friends, but I can guarantee it will not happen again. But we must continue. Even if that has happened, we still must continue here. Okay, we've we've completely cornered off and have shut off Gibraltar to all our enemies here. We've got we've still got peace with Courland here. Um, a number of generals, a number of council members are calling for us to hit the Balkans here, because you can see this really has become a real staunch sort of defensive um, force and lands here for the Germans. They really are able to sort of pull back into these lands as sort of a safe haven. They're also able to produce a vast amount of troops from these sort of regions here as well in Balkans. So you can see they really are using Yugoslavia to the absolute fullest. There has been a call by a number of council members and there's also been a, a real wonderful put together plan here by uh, General Roberts um, who's n sort of named it Operation Manifest Destiny and that is to move in to put another army group we've got currently operating against the uh, Mughals here in Agvatuk as you can see here this, ar this army group here which took an absolute pounding but it also dealt out a serious thrashing my friends to the Mughals. Now the Mughals are starting to sort of replenish and regain their foothold here. It looks like they're going to be trying to mount another attack upon us here but we now control Agvatuk and with Agvatuk comes an improved settlement fortifications. The maximum fortifications you can get are now at our disposal so even though we took a, a real beating, on, let's be honest with ourselves here, we took a real thrashing from them because of the sheer numbers we were up against but we've been able to replenish. We are now behind a walled city. We also have Sir significant reinforcements still here ready to fight as you can see this army is actually getting there it's not looking too bad at all now and now have this army here which has do has does has does does have dare i say my grammar horrific does have u.s continental marines here also some cuirassiers which are as you can see here really were in the in the thick of the action there and we are starting to rebuild these armies, but thankfully we've got Agvatuk. If they do attack us here, they will be attacking against a garrisoned force fully prepared to meet them with a significant fire support available to them as well, which really will be crucial. Once we've dealt with this, this army group has been designated by the council to be moved into Europe with all due haste. It will probably be the spearhead that will actually attack into the Balkans. But we cannot allow the Mughals to sort of be able to still roam here because what we've done is if we pull this force out now, all we've done is we've we have sort of wasted the opportunity to rid Canada and all of the continental United States of all our enemies and it can completely and utterly in US and British hands is how we want it. Now Britain is a staunch ally of ours. Okay, but we aren't taking our eye off Britain at all. We are keeping our eye, a firm eye on Britain. As you can see, they do have s significant forces within Canada. But as you can see here, Courland has actually made the journey here, all the way here, um, into sort of Quebec. And it's uh, hitting the port here, which is going to hurt the British. As you can see, the British aren't in the best of health here. Their armies are starting to lose men either by desertion or they're not getting paid enough money. And that could be a real problem there because if Britain sees itself as not being able to continue in its current guise, it might look elsewhere to take territories to help pay for that army. That is why we must be vigilant. We, Although they're an ally of ours, we cannot allow them to simply walk all over us. That's why we've left armies, significant armies, in the major triumvirate here of lands here. Of course, the Iroquois, uh, Niagara is fully open, uh, Detroit is fully open as well, but I mean, the real sort of cornerstone of, of our entire sort of empire, as it were, here is Philadelphia and it is Boston. Um, of course, <clears throat> Florida is a real linchpin as well of the South. That's why we will never, ever allow Florida to fall because if you lose Florida, it really does allow the enemy to sort of unhook your southern flank and then be able to move and roll upwards through Savannah, through Georgia, through Car the Carolinas and upwards towards sort of... Um, uh, Virginia and up to New York and thus we cannot allow that to happen. Now Britain still controls um, most of the the Caribbean, the islands within the Caribbean Sea. We do have Cuba which is a significant, a significant 
port and a significant economic port for as you can see here we've got 13 nearly 14,000 of gold going through or this singular port here that is quite extraordinary it really is that is the the sheer dimensions that Cuba gives us in terms of e economy that's why we've left an army here we cannot lose Cuba either there are certain points within our empire within the Republic that we simply cannot afford to lose because they are just too valuable to us and that is why we have to leave armies there because you just never know my friends what if Britain suddenly turns upon us what if Britain suddenly need to take territory from us to for, for their own survival because <clears throat> as many of you know when it comes to survival you know you will be backstabbed at this at the e earliest opportunity if it, it means another nation's survival and as you can see we've got a huge amount of trade flowing from out of um, sort of South America and in the continental US, Texas indeed. We've still got some forces here in Santa Fe. Even Santa Fe, New Mexico is producing a wonderful, look at 3,206 income and not anything to laugh at at all. <coughs> Mexico, again producing significant income, 10,000 coming out of here for the income from New Mexico. Although we don't have much of an army here, we've actually stripped New Mexico out, so we will have to be very vigilant there what happens here, but as you can see, South America under full US control now of course ideally we would like to have control of Dutch Guyana and French Guyana because they really are an absolute monolith my friends a titan in terms of economy they really are we can't quite see what's coming out of here I don't believe the French have actually got any of these linked to the trade line here which is a shame but um, as you can Britain's got nothing coming out of here so I'm wondering if Britain's starting to feel the pinch here they've got nothing coming out of here either this is disconcerting let's have a look how Britain is actually doing here very friendly but no still plus 184 which is not too bad at all but it was much higher at one point again we must remain vigilant now over to the war in Europe as you can see here Spain is absolutely massive now They've got armies here in Munster. Oh, they are significant armies. They've got Swiss line infantry as well. Oh my goodness me, look at that. That is an absolute titan of an army. Marines, Swiss Mountain Jaeger, Swiss Grenadiers. Line infantry. These are significant forces upon our border here. We've got Hanover, which is completely locked down here. Ready for order. Now, why is this gentleman just Ready loitering here? Order. That really is not acceptable at all. But we've also got forces potentially trying to move in behind us here and try and strike out into Denmark. That's why we've had to move up this army in particular. We don't really have the guns here to really do what we need to do here. So I think we can actually take this gentleman out and put some guns in instead. Now if we fall back from the bridge here that's going to leave this open completely to them but if they attack ready, here it's actually going to draw in probably these two order. armies here yes, sir. into the battle at least. We've also got a significant amount of German forces facing us here. We've got French forces moving through to try and harass the Spanish. It is a morass my friends, it really is, but Berlin is completely and utterly sealed here, apart from this flank here which is open. But again, as you can see, look at this, I mean the fight we had for Gdansk, the battle for Gdansk was huge, but it didn't, it didn't draw in this force here. But again, there's nothing we couldn't deal with here. They do have free corp. But they've got some Republican Guard, but the majority of them are actually militia and conscripts. But these forces are being replenished with all due yes, haste here. Oh, look at that. I mean, that is a joy to see. Look at those grenadiers there. Wonderful. I think we will actually increase our recruitment along here. Let's get some more garrison guards. Line infantry, cuirassiers. And I think we'll also have some 24 pounders. We've also got this force here. Ready and awaiting order not full strength either which is again disconcerting so I think we will, oh we've got some mortars because the council did require us to in insert some mortars into our garrison but I think what we will do is we'll actually make sure these armies are fully equipped 
And that means more cavalry. I think we're going to need cavalry more than this. So cuirassiers for these armies here. And we've also, it was a fight and a half here which for Hungary. The Austrians threw everything they had at us here and we barely, barely held on here. But we are, we have pulled back at the Council's behest. We have pulled back to the Star Forty of Fort Kumom. Um, and we are going yes, to sir. replenish and repair here and try and do the best yes, we can to hold here and maybe try and push out again against these forces but they did put a significant number of troops against us last last time they really did put that this is the remnants of what was left of that army that attacked us we almost had hungry in our grasp we've almost broken the austrians here but we've just got to re replenish pull back to the fort here and try and push through some reinforcements if possible but it's going to be difficult maybe we could push these two armies down through the front lines past these German forces and maybe move into a Hungary proper and really take care of this because we were hoping to use Dresden and move down to Prague but with these forces pushing against our western flank here it's going to be increasingly difficult to do that but our immediate aim is the Don now the Don has come under siege once again, the Germans have made their move, we cannot wait any longer, this force here is going to, as you can see we're already starting to lose casualties to the siege, we've lost a few, not many, but we've got to take the fight to them now, it's going to drag in this force here as well, but we need to clear this, we've also got an army group moving along, this army group will assault my cop here, it will assault this army here, there's currently in the college here we're going to clear utterly this this flank here of the Don and it really has become a flashpoint here the Don it really has absolutely drawn in all the German forces it really has drawn them in significantly look at that look at that cl cluster here of Russian forces huge because I thought the Crimea would be more important to them but for some reason we've got a massive amount of Russian forces along the Crimea. But we're not going to concern ourselves with that. Our immediate thing is to hold and defend here and then move these forces in to clear the Don utterly here. We have to have some kind of breathing space here and roll up these forces, maybe even moving in to take Astrakhan and moving into the Urals here. We've got to take the fight to them. But our first foray, actually, what we could actually do here as well. Yes, also, the council has called for us to use forces from Ankara here and start moving them in. We've got ships in the area, we're going to have to start moving forces in from Ankara to really push against the Germans here. Until we get the barracks here we can't really do much else. As you can see we can't really recruit very much. Um, that's why we're trying to get barracks up as quickly as possible. That will only give us these at the moment. So we've got to wait. Greece is still... We can get, probably get some in here. Um, the Ottomans... We're at peace with the Ottomans. We've got these gentlemen here. We are going to move into the Balkans as an advance, a reconnoit, and to gather intelligence. Actually, what we will do is we'll move these ships into here. We don't want to lose any of these. They're important assets to ourselves. We've got three heavy first rates here. We do have access to additional forces. I think what we will do is we'll start putting some more forces into some more naval forces. But my friends, we're going to take this fight. We're going to rid ourselves of these fiends here. Now, how do we strike? Which is the best army to strike ready. into them? At the I believe it's the army defending Chakas. Or Chakasak. Which is the Don. And I think we're going to move in and rid ourselves. Oh my goodness me, it's going to be huge. Huge, sir. Now, what have they got available to themselves? They've got a lot of cavalry here in the reinforcements, but the initial assault force has mostly militia. Two regiments of artillery, one three pounder, one twelve. Not much cavalry. So, in terms of disposition of forces, it isn't looking too bad at all. I think we'll just bring in this army here. Of Gen General Jamie here is going to actually be the reinforcement. We've got General Schwalbe is going to be moving in as well, but this force here is not, a, not nor is the reserve force here coming in. 
reinforcing army is not, but it does have a lot of cavalry, which we must be wary of. We don't have any cuirassiers here, because these are one of the early forces we moved in. We've got 12 pounders still in here as well, which we were hoping to retrofit, but we didn't have the forces available to do so, because most of our forces, 95% of our forces, are actually operating within the European theatre. Let's begin. Let's assault. We need to hold on to the Don. We have we have gambled and we have thrown a significant proportion of our weight and of also if the Don was to fall our morale of our f troops everywhere would be affected greatly because we really have put ourselves out on a limb here to, to make a statement to the Germans that wherever they are we will take them on. If we lose the Don that will be under threat that sort of that sort of statement we've made will be under threat because the Germans will know actually be able to say we'll know wherever we, we are we can operate with freedom because you can't hold on to it we will not allow that to happen I can assure you my friends it will not happen now let's have a look at the topography here so with that my friends I'll take a phone call here now as you can see with the topography this is a huge deployment of my goodness me this is absolutely massive Look at the sheer size here of this deployment zone. It is huge. My goodness me, that is massive. Now, of course, we are assaulting <coughs> the Germans, so let's have a look at their deployment zone. Let's see if it's equally as big here. No, it's not. It's actually to the foot of the base here of this hill. And there it is in the background. Look at that. There's the Don there, my friends. That is what we are defending. Is that city there? We have to take it or hold it. We are going to be salting up a hill here, as you can see. But we're going to take this head on here. We're not going to retreat. We've got to remember that they've got reinforcements coming in. So we have to be operationally sound here. Now, so first of all, we're not going to go too far forward. We're just going to pull ourselves back here, but we're going to use the guns to our advantage. We're going to have to make sure... get them a little bit better spaced out there, that's more like it. Now, so we're going to put them on quick line here, we're going to immediately bring down the the fire support. Now, the cavalry is going to be crucial here. We'll pull the cavalry back here just for the moment. We've got some on the left and the right flanks. Right, gentlemen, thank you. We don't have any heavy cavalry at all, which is a which can prove difficult, but we're not up against any heavy cavalry ourselves either. But still, now we're not going to move into the village, although we could use village in some ways. It will only break up our uh, lines as well, which we don't want. We want to keep a clear line of sight. Remember, we have reinforcements coming in from the Germans, from one of the flanks, even possibly behind us. So we have to be careful here. Now we want to move against the Germans here. We're going to have to commit at least four regiments to an assault. So let's put these gentlemen as just at the start here. And then the rest are going to have to be held back into a very tight formation here. Oh, look at that log here. Who would have thought a log would have stopped this regiment? We'll put the 44th here. Actually, no, we'll put this regiment here in the vanguard. It is the most experienced. We shall put these gentlemen here. Then we should have this regiment, the 44th, <coughs> on the right flank. This regiment here, that's a, that is a green regiment here. We'll have this regiment on the left. Again, we've got to keep a very tight control of our defensive lines here. Can we pull back for reinforcements? We're not too sure. This regiment will go on the right. We're going to start to just bend them around here. Third regiment on the left. Gentlemen, please. Thank you. Okay, we just need to gotta be operationally sound here. Ge gentlemen. Please, thank you. Now, do we hold back two regiments in reserve and just adjust our lines? 
according to what was coming our way. Because remember, we are being, we're going to send two cavalry regiments with this assault group. That is a given. So we'll have these two regiments here, 70th Regiment and this Regiment of Horse here. Both Regiments of Horse, look at that. That's a wonderful sight. We are going to be operating quite aggressively against them here. Remember, we are assaulting them. Let's just... We're going to have the cavalry here in a reserve mode here, just to make sure, the reinforcing, just to make sure that we're not going to be caught on the hop here. I'll actually pull these gentlemen to this flank here. These gentlemen are ready to slot into this flank here. Actually, we'll actually pull these gentlemen to here just to make sure we've got, because you never know, sometimes they'll hit one flank pretty aggressively. Now, we are ready to go. We do have reinforcements of our own, but hopefully we can move and take these forces out right now. We do have to move up against this hill here, which is going to definitely prove wearing and taxing upon the men, but that is what they are trained for. Let's begin. Now look at that, they swung themselves towards our base, right to the base there. Well, let's move this regiment here. <laughs> Got to come under fire immediately here. We're pushing these, we're going to push them hard. Look at that smoke. And look at this, what a joyous sight that is. We've got to try and break, roll up this flank here. We have to be vigilant though, very vigilant indeed. Steady lad, steady. flank them here. <clears throat> Look at that, we're using this to, for line of sight here so they don't see us moving along the base here of this sort of hill. Get in that scrum. Move, lads. Double time. Don't you slap them, lads. Don't you slap them. Get in position. Quite clearly they're going to be shifting a large amount of their forces coming into this flank here. We're going to hold here that in reserve. Let's just wait here. hidden and now the fire fire oh my goodness me what a shot there sir my compliments to the chef
Let's get into position. Oh, that, oh my goodness me, that is an absolute joy to see. Shakun's moving in. Get out, lads. get out, get out. Ready to meet Sam. Oh, look at that. Broken, sir. We stand prepared for you, sir. Up. Hold that, hold. They've broken, they've had a laugh, let's get out of there. Out of square. This is why we held the cavalry back. Oh, lads. Sir. Not a chance. They buckled, sir, under significant pressure. But under the sword, lads. It would appear that they do want to fight, and thus we shall oblige. July. 
Thanks, lads. Hold your lines. Here come the reinforcements. Move, lads. Move. The line, we constitute the line. I mean, look at this where they marched, they died. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, utterly vanquished. Come the reinforcements, we must be vigilant here. As soon as they fall within our line of fire. That is a joy to see. If that doesn't bring a tear to your eye, I don't know what will. Gentlemen, this is not a Sunday stroll. Move! Do as you are ordered or you will be court-martialed. It's as simple as that. We do not broker any intolerance here of orders. Ah, wonderful. Look at that. More regiments on the way. Let's pull them into the line. Here they come. Regiment of course, they've got a lot of cavalry here coming in. Hold your ground, lads, hold your ground. Get yourself into square. Get yourself into square, gentlemen. What is just going on there? If they wish to, if they wish to break themselves upon the sheer rock. What the? <laughs> don't you, don't you break, gentlemen, old.
broken. But we've held here, sir. We've pushed these forces very hard here. We've had to. Oh, well done, lads. Well done. Pull them back. Ah, oh, they've gone. They've broken. This whole flank is gone. They've come under a tremendous barrage. But they fought with great discipline, great vigor, great elan, great panache. Let's put it into these. Let's put it into these fiends. Let's pull them back here. More like it. Don't, what the blazes is going on here? That's a lot of forces coming off the line here. Be doing us a disservice here. Focus the line inventory, lads. That's a huge amount of forces still coming off the line here. Come on, lads, hold now. What a shot. What a shot this has been here. Wonderful to see. That's a lot of German forces still coming across the line. Well done, sir. Well done, lads. Oh, gentlemen. What the blazes is going on here? I'm sure we can replace these gentlemen here. If we're gonna go, let's go out and score some land with some panache. see. Look at that. Let them come.
pushing everything they can against us here. We've got to hold these lines here. So let's keep holding this fire. Without this fire support, we would be in a lot of trouble here. What's the spirit that's he's gone. Don't you break that, don't you break. these gentlemen I think we were with our fourth grenadiers let's go after the camp the the artillery here look at that that's the lead vanquish what the blazes <laughs> and now we impose our dom our superiority upon them, sir. So. I just close these ranks here. Let's really take a fight to them now. This is you or two. We will oblige. Let's see how that tastes well against you, sir. That's more like it. Gentlemen, don't tell me you're just walking. Don't tell me you're just walking. Time to mop up. Time to mop up.
<laughs> well, that is how you send them packing, sir. These grenadiers, the finest, sir. Have at you, sir. Have at you. This has been an absolute bloodbath, so we've absolutely annihilated two full German armies here. The Don has been successfully held for now, but mine would have had to pay a heavy price for it, sir. So that's well done. We need to re really give them a, f a sound thrashing here. No one. Heroic victory, of course. What a fight that was. Excuse my friends, a celebratory cup of tea. Statistics, look at that. 374 kills. Nothing short of a wonder. 68 men remaining. Look at the look at that. Four men remaining in that regiment there. I mean that is it was a brutal fight. We lost 2051. They had, they lost 6,000. Away with you, fiends. Away with you. <sighs> what a fight that was. We can't replenish at the moment, but we can hopefully get this, this army group into here to help. Because they will be sending additional forces in here to strike against these armies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your orders? Wow, that took a beating. My goodness me. We can't do anything else here. We've just got to try and hold. Hope they hold on for the next, for in the next uh, uh, battle, and that will be a difficult battle. Aye, do you have a wow? Look at that there, Thomas Wolfe. What an admiral! He's 53. Probably the finest admiral you will find anywhere. Wonderful. He's currently raiding here, Austria. I wonder if we could break Austria, that would be fine. If we could break Austria down here in hu Vienna and Hungary, what a coup that would be. That would be a coup de main. No, I don't think we can do anything else yet, my friends. Let's end the turn here. Let's just see what comes out of this. Let's end the turn. Let's see what... Britain... Why are Britain moving forces in here? So it looks like they want to push out now. Defeat drat, sir. That means they're going to try and push out against us here. Okay, no, that's fine. We shall be prepared for that, sir. If you want to fight us, we shall oblige. Now they have done it. Because now we shall bring these gentlemen in here. Wait a minute. Wow. Disaster! Damn those Austrians. They will full feel the full price for that, I can assure you. Now, is Austria going to try and move against us here? No. Will France try and move against Spain here? Potentially, they're looking like they're trying to move towards that. What will... Ah, 
Russia. What is your what is your plan, sir? We have to be very, very careful here because the Don is stretched to breaking point. Let's not be any illusions. Even though we won that battle, we are still under a significant amount of pressure. Now, are they pulling forces away from the Don? Indeed, they are. Interesting to say the least. Hmm. Go oh, oh, try trying to move around the Warsaw defences here, heading for Konigsberg. We must be vigilant. Now I I've got a feeling they're going to try and break into Denmark here. Denmark could be in danger. These are significant forces moving around here. We know that they are trying to they're gonna hit our fort. This that's fine. If they want to hit these towns and outer limits of Gdansk, that's absolutely fine. Looks like Naples here in Sicily got involved there. Ah, Now we know they're coming for us. Looks like Naples. Look at this. They decided to get involved here. I wonder if we take that fight. I think, my friends, we might take this naval battle next episode. Because they're not in the best of health here. I think we're going to have a naval battle next episode. And it's going to involve us using those four heavy first rates here against their force here. I think we might do some serious damage to this force. I don't think we're going to auto resolve this one even though as you can see this is evenly fought here. We might actually win this. I think we're going to take this fight. I think next episode we'll take this fight. We'll actually go to the high seas because you can see you know we've got 118, 118 348 men here. This is, these are at full strength these forces. These have taken it. Look at that. They've got 10 here. They've stole that one from us because they we we pushed they pushed us into sort of the Naples redoubt and they took this steam the Jamaica here but I'll be damned if we're going to give them this without a fight they are not in the best of health I think we're going to have a naval battle next episode my friends but we're going to leave this episode as it is here my friends we still got a huge amount to do but the battle there for the Don the first battle has taken place it hopefully now will give us time to be able to get that army group into place and strike against the rear of those forces at, uh, besieging the Don and we can finally do something about clearing it and stabilizing the situation there. We still have a huge amount to do, my friends. Again, of always, any anybody wants any any uh, generals or any promotions, please let me know, my friends. Now, the operation against the Balkans has not has not ended because we haven't done anything towards it here. This, the, the operation for the Balkans is going to require us to do a number of things. We're going to start next episode once we've taken care of this force here. We're going to start putting together an army group or army groups, shall I say. We might even, we, there's even be, even, even be recommendations we draw the Marine Expeditionary Force and the Republican Guard Army out from the Berlin garrison and use that as sort of the linchpin, the anchor of what will be a, a massive army group that will hit the Balkans against the Germans. So that's what we could probably do next episode. But as you can probably tell, my friends, we've had a huge amount to do this episode, particularly the defence of the Don, which we have succeeded thus far. But we will take this battle next time. But any advice on naval battles, I, I hold my hands up, my friends. Naval battles are not my forte. They are not my strength at all. So, but we are going to we are going to take the fight here to the to the Sicilians. I think we will do that. But my friends, hope you've enjoyed this. And as always, my friends, please keep your comments coming down below because they've been absolutely invaluable. They really have been an absolute joy to really, really read. And you really have helped s massively in the sort of the way and the direction that this campaign is going and all campaigns are going. Without your help, my friends. Our campaigns would not be anywhere near they are now, but I really do appreciate all your support, all your advice. It really is absolutely wonderful, my friends. But as always, my friends, whatever you're doing, please be safe. And until next time, my friends, bye for now.